Hello. Today we are going to follow previously published instruction and we will make uh, a ball using four different color balloons. But first we are going to make a heart shape and helmet. Let's inflate all balloons leaving about 7 inch flat tails. We are going to twist all bubbles of the same up to 2 inch size. Let's start with uh, pink balloon. Twist a chain of first 5 pink bubbles. We need 5 bubbles to make a pentagon shape. The pentagon is going to be a pattern for our sculpture. We are going to use each balloon to make 3 connected pentagons. 3 connected pentagons in the shape of a heart. Now let's lock both ends of the chain of the first 5 bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the first pentagon. And now we have to twist the chain of the next 5 pink bubbles. We have to make and connect 3 hearts to make one helmet. And we are going to use 4 hearts to make one ball. It takes total of 60 bubbles to make this sculpture. And now we have to lock both ends of the chain of the last 6 bubbles in one lock twist. We have to pull the end of the pink balloon through the loop of the first 5 bubbles. Also we can say that we have locked uh, both ends of the chain of the last 9 bubbles. It really doesn't make any difference how we say it, right? Ok, now we are about to make the second pentagon. So let's twist the 11th pink bubble. Let's lock both ends of the chain of the last 5 bubbles in one lock twist. We have to force the free end of the 11th bubble between the 6th and the 7th bubbles. So far we have made 2 connected pentagons plus 1 extra bubble. Twist the chain of the next 4 pink bubbles. I want just remind you that in previously published instruction uh, ball 2 helmet 1 we use 6 balloons to make the ball. And then we also made the 60 bubbles. Alright, now let's lock both ends of the chain of the last 10 bubbles in one lock twist. We have made 3 connected pentagons in the shape of heart. Cut off the rest of the pink balloon and tie off the end. You can use scissors or do it with your hands, it's up to you. So I want to remind you again that it would take 3 connected hearts to make one helmet. And it will take 4 connected uh, hearts to make one ball. I'm going to use a green balloon to make the second heart. Or next 3 pentagons. Let's twist the first green bubble. There are only 3 spots where we can connect a green balloon to the pink heart. In this example I'm going to lock the free end of the first green bubble between the 13th and the 14th pink bubbles. Now let's twist a chain of the next 4 green bubbles. As in the previous instruction I always suggest to use different color balloons for making balls. Especially it makes a lot of sense if you're making the sculpture first time. Different color balloons make it easier. Um, at least not so confusing for understanding where we have to make connections between balloons. Let's lock both ends of the chain of the first green bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the first green pentagon. Twist the sixth green bubble. Lock the free end of the sixth green bubble between the next two pink bubbles. We have to force the end of the green balloon through the loop of the chain of 5 bubbles. Twist the 7th green bubble. 
and now we lock the free end of the seventh green bubble between the nearest two pink bubbles. Now let's twist a chain of the next three green bubbles. We have to twist all bubbles of the same size. And we have to twist the right size bubbles to make the right size helmet. For example, with this size bubbles uh, we are making a helmet suitable for two three years old child. Ok, now let's lock both ends of the chain of the last six green bubbles in one lock twist. We made a loop of six green bubbles. Now we have to twist a chain of the next four green bubbles. It really takes time to twist and connect 60 bubbles to make one sculpture. And now we lock both ends of the chain of the last five green bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the 15th green bubble. And now we have to lock both ends of the chain of the first or the last 15 green bubbles in one lock twist. We can make exactly the same heart shape connecting bubbles in many different orders. I personally think that it's more interesting and uh, more challenging to finish uh, the balloon at the same point where you started. So far we have made and connected two hearts. Let's cut off the rest of the green balloon and tie off the end. To make a helmet we have to make and connect one more heart. As you can see at this point our sculpture has a kind of a diamond shape. The next balloon we are going to connect first to the pink heart and then we will connect it to the green heart. Now I want you to pay close attention, it's important. I hold the pink heart on the left side. The green heart on the right side. This way there are one pink and two green pentagons located in the top part of the sculpture. Let's twist the first blue bubble. We have to lock the free end of the first blue bubble between the two pink bubbles on the top side of the sculpture. Yes, right here. Let's twist the second blue bubble. And we lock the free end of the second blue bubble between the nearest two green bubbles. Twist the third blue bubble. And we have to lock the free end of the third blue bubble between the next two green bubbles. Opachki. I have to retwist couple green bubbles here. Accidentally untwist them. Alright, let's twist a chain of the next two blue bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the first five blue bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the first blue pentagon. And the next couple connections we are going to make uh, to the left uh, with the pink side. Twist the sixth blue bubble. Lock the free end of the sixth blue bubble between the next two pink bubbles. Twist the seventh blue bubble. Lock the free end of the seventh blue bubble between the next two pink bubbles. And here it happens again. I untwisted accidentally the pink bubbles. Well, let me fix it right away. All good now. And now we twist a chain of the next three blue bubbles. We 
we have to lock both ends of the chain of the last six bubbles in one lock twist. At this point our sculpture looks very much as a basket or vase. Ok, let's twist the 11th blue bubble. And now we lock the free end of the 11th blue bubble between the next two green bubbles. Let's twist a chain of the next three blue bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last five blue bubbles in one lock twist. Now we have to twist one more blue bubble, the last, the 15th bubble. And again we will finish uh, this heart at the same point where we started it, connecting both ends of uh, chain of the first or the last. 15 blue bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the third heart and it is connected to the first two hearts in the shape of a helmet. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at our work. One more thing to make it perfect, we have to cut off the rest of the blue balloon and tie off the end. So as I mentioned before, we can use this sculpture to make a vase, a basket, a hat, a wigs and so on and so on. There are too many things we can use it for. And with our top fashion show model, the Mr. Penguin. Here we are. That is how the helmet will look on a, a little about 2-3 years old child. We can uh, wear the helmet in two different ways. Here is a second variation. Thank you Mr. Penguin. And we have some more job to do with the helmet. We have to make and connect one more heart to our helmet to make a ball. Let's turn the helmet upside down to see how many bubbles we have around the brim. There are three balloons, three colors and each of them presented by a chain of two and chain of three bubbles. We are going to connect the fourth, the yellow balloon to the chain of three bubbles first between two bubbles located to the other color uh, balloon. Let's twist the first yellow bubble, find uh, a chain of three blue bubbles and lock the free end of the first uh, yellow bubble between the two blue bubbles next to the green bubble. Twist the second yellow bubble, lock the free end of the second yellow bubble between the next two green bubbles. And now we twist the third yellow bubble. Then we lock the free end of the third yellow bubble between the next two green bubbles. Twist the chain of the next two yellow bubbles. Let's lock both ends of the chain of the first five yellow bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the first yellow pentagon. Now we twist the sixth yellow bubble. Lock the free end of the sixth yellow bubble 
between the next two blue bubbles. Twist the seventh yellow bubble and lock the free end of the seventh yellow bubble between the nearest two blue bubbles. Twist the eighth yellow bubble and we lock the free end of the eighth yellow bubble between the next two um, pink bubbles. Twist the chain of the next two yellow bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last six yellow bubbles in one lock twist. I think I mentioned it in previous instruction. The ball is a good hiding place for any small size soft uh, toys or uh, any little items. Anything that you may want to put inside of the ball as a surprise. So if you have any soft toys or whatever gifts you want, it's the right time to put it inside of the ball now. Alright, uh, just to give you better visual understanding of what I'm talking about, I'm going to put a little chicken, stuffed chicken toy inside of the ball. Of course, uh, we should not put any sharp or heavy items inside of the ball. We don't want anyone to get hurt. So, you got the idea. Thank you little chicken. Now you can go back and we keep working on our sculpture. Twist the 11th yellow bubble. Lock the free end of the 11th yellow bubble between the next two green bubbles. We are getting closer to the end. Let's twist the 12th yellow bubble. Lock the free end of the 12th yellow bubble between the next two pink bubbles. Twist the 13th yellow bubble. And we lock the free end of the 13th yellow bubble between the next two pink bubbles. Twist the 14th yellow bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last five yellow bubbles in one lock twist. And finally we twist the last, the 15th yellow bubble. And we lock both ends of the chain of the first 15 of the last 10 yellow bubbles in one lock twist. Congratulations! We have made the ball. We can use the rest of the yellow balloon as a handle to carry the ball around or for something else. We can hide uh, the end of the yellow balloon inside of the ball or we can just uh, cut it off and uh, tie off the end. You have to make sure that uh, all uh, balloons end uh, hiding between bubbles or inside of the ball. Stretch the sculpture slightly to fix all bubbles in proper positions. And once again, uh, to make this sculpture, the ball, uh, we use four balloons. We twisted total of 60 bubbles. We made four hearts, or you can say 12 pentagons connected together. And uh, as you remember, we connected both ends of each balloon in one spot. This ball is really fun toy to play indoor games. It is a surprisingly very durable toy made of uh, balloons. And you hardly can break anything in your apartment with this ball. That is a very important point. Have fun and happy twisting.